in the secret world, never take anything or anyone at face value. Especially those who seem to go out of their way to avoid notice. Such as this guy. Do you even recognize this face? It's Dr. Bannerman, Sheriff Bannerman's husband. But who is he really? Hello, welcome to Questions. A spoilers-free lore series where I seek to just find the right questions to ask, rather than to give you the answers. Dr. Bannerman is a very unobtrusive figure. He stands off to the side, always facing the wall. He only has one thing to talk about, unlike everyone else in the sheriff's station. And he only figures into one non-repeatable story mission. I'd be surprised if most people ever gave him a second thought. However, there are some things about him that should raise questions. Unlike his wife's cartoonishly thick main accent, his accent is hard to place, implying he's a transplant. Where did he come from? And if Bannerman is his name, what is Helen's maiden name? It's also an easy assumption to make that he is a family medicine doctor, also called a primary care doctor or rural medicine doctor. They're typically the sort of physician you find in small towns like this. They handle everything from flu shots to childbirth. Rural doctors have to be the ultimate generalists. Why then is this town's doctor a psychiatrist? There are a lot of hints that this is his specialty. The notes on his computer, for example, are all psychiatric evaluations, with physical symptoms coming second. Well, except that one note, but I'll deal with that one in the next episode of Answers. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense to refer Danny to a family care doctor for a behavioral problem, would it? More directly, the captain's log on the ship says, That's what Doc Bannerman would say. Shrink's gonna be earning his pay when we get back. It's possible to interpret these two lines as non sequiturs, but it makes more sense if Doc Bannerman is a shrink. But that's an entirely different specialty from a family practice doctor. Both require years of residency in order to qualify, so it's unlikely he did a second residency. What is he doing practicing general medicine here? Is he practicing general medicine? While the implements around his office may seem to suggest that, it's actually implied that Norma Creed does most of the physical medicine when she says, I used to get my hands dirty. Fish guts, childbirth, sutures, the dead. Does she have any actual formal training as a nurse or midwife, or is it all just hard-earned experience? Hard to say, but we're really here for Doc Bannerman. It's not uncommon for a doctor with a different specialty to end up practicing rural medicine anyway. And as a psychiatrist, he is still a medical doctor, so he would have the basic knowledge required, at least to handle the cases that Norma's folk medicine couldn't. Which is why he has an x-ray machine in his office despite being a psychiatrist, as well as other basic medical supplies. Still though, doesn't he seem a little overstocked? What even is this equipment? While this could have been a cast saw, it's more likely an autopsy saw because this is an autopsy kit. He has multiple autopsy kits. Whether he doubles as a general practitioner or not, this is simply equipment he should not have. What the hell is it doing here? What the hell was he doing here? Thank you for watching this episode of Questions. Tune in Tuesday for the answers. Or try to figure it out for yourself, because there will be spoilers. Also tune in Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays for my other series, I A to B, a let's role play through the secret world. Interesting stuff is happening there. If you liked this video, please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you did not like this video, please troll me on Reddit.